Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Player Career Mode here on the channel. Today, we have the most important episode of the series thus far, as we are taking part in a huge rivalry game. We're taking on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, but the reason this game is so important, not only is it one of Georgia's biggest rivals, they are ranked number 7 in the country, and they are currently 10-1 on the year. We are ranked number 4, so a win like this would propel us possibly into the top 2 in the country, which is massive for making the national championship game. And hopefully after we win this game, we'll be taking part in the SEC championship game next week. But we have to take this series one episode at a time, as hopefully we can get this win and it propel us into the top 2 of the country. Now, really quick before we do get into the game for today's episode, I do want to show you what has happened throughout the last couple of weeks of the season. So, in the Heisman watch, is Carl Weezer still up there? He's not number one. He's behind freaking Connor Blumrick. But these next two episodes could be vital in seeing if Carl Weezer can win the Heisman for the first time in his career. And also, this is important too. In today's episode, it's a Heisman watch matchup. Matthew Jordan, the starting quarterback for Georgia Tech, is right up there too, number four in the Heisman watch. And now I'm curious, I'm confused, because freaking Quay Johnson, a wide receiver from East Carolina, is in the top five of the Heisman watch too. That is wild. But currently, the top 25 polls, in case you guys are curious, number one in the country is Louisville. They're number one. Alabama's number two, and if we win this week, more than likely we are going to be taking them on in the SEC championship game next week, which would be a massive game. And any real surprises, apparently Texas A&M lost last week. They were number one. They dropped down to number eight. And the Connecticut's up there. We're 14 in the country. They're 9-1. and one. And any up, San Diego State's in the top 25. Navy's in the top 25. And that's really the only real surprises in the top 25. Now... I do also want to go, and I have to go right back into the top 25, and show you guys how we've done the past couple of weeks. If we go to more info, go over to schedule, we can look right here. We lost the first game of the season, but we've won out since. So since the last episode, we played Auburn. We beat them 28-14, to and we beat Kentucky 40-20. to Now we have probably the most important game of this season thus far. And team leaders, we can look at Carl's stats right here. He's thrown 24 touchdowns, 9 picks, 2,693 yards, and we have our starting running back with just over 1,000 yards on this season. So with that said, boys, it is time to try and do the gosh dang thing, because this is a freaking important game, because if we want a chance to play the national championship, we have to win. If we lose... We're not going to be able to do it. Simple as that. So if you guys could like the video, that would be cool. And also, if you could subscribe, that would also be cool. Because at 200,000 subscribers, we're doing a console giveaway. And if you want a second chance to win a console, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. A whole separate giveaway once we hit 10,000 followers. So go follow me if you haven't already. Link in the description box below. And also, I shout out somebody every single video. All you have to do is be one of the first 10 people to comment on a video. And you have a chance to be shouted out in the next one. So yeah, I kept this short so you guys stop getting mad at me. Let's get back into the video. So it's a rainy day in between the hedges, but it's time for Carl Weezer and the Georgia Bulldogs to make the rival Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets look like a bunch of imbeciles. Hopefully we can get some type of blowout, but I mean, it is a top 10 matchup. It is a rivalry game, so a win would be just enough. So we decided to get the ball first here because we want to set the tone. We want to set the tone. We want to go out on this drive, score a touchdown on this first drive, and I want to not look back the rest of the game because I want to be ahead the whole entire freaking game. I want to win by like 30 points. That might would actually get us a top two ranking. But second down on one, let's just make sure we don't do anything dumb on this first drive. A's wide open. That's going to be our tight end. That's Nauta. Isaac Nauta, 16-yard reception down to midfield already. Freaking tight end angle, man. That's the play everybody runs in Madden 18. That's wild. And there's plays back from NCAA Football 14 that people will still use and abuse in today's Madden games. But anyways, here we go. Uh-oh, Carl's going to get sacked. No, he's not. We're going to scramble. Carl, just throw, just throw the ball out of bounds. Sometimes being a good quarterback means just throwing the ball to the, the white stuff on the sideline. The white markers on the sideline. That's what it takes. Oh, here we go. Second down and 10. We might need to run the ball some. That would probably be smart to mix things up. But I want to put the game into the hands of Carl. 
This guy's open. That's Hardman. Miko Hardman, 16-yard reception, first down. In to plus territory at the 34-yard line. I'm just going with, with what the coach is calling. He's called a pass and play every single time, but I'm going to use an audible for the first time. An audible to my favorite play. Cool verticals. See if we can get a big play right here. Uh-oh. B was wide open, and I'm too dumb. Wide open now. Oh. Okay, this is going to be bad. My controller disconnected. I threw it, and it's like in five-man coverage. So, this is going to be bad. I don't even want to click A to resume game. This is a pick, isn't it? Okay, thank God he's dumb. Thank God he's dumb. We live... <laughs> we live for another play. So second down and sin. That could have been really bad. We got a little bit lucky. So that's that's pretty much our luck use for the whole entire episode right there on the first freaking play of the game. First drive of the game, rather. Okay, our running back's wide open across the field. Justin Schaffer is going to get extremely close to the first down marker. Third down and one. Now our coach wants us to run the football. This is our first run of the game. Can the freaking boxer... Elijah Holyfield get one yard. We need just one. I think he's going to get it. Maybe. Yes, he does. Elijah did the thing. Elijah Holyfield with a four-yard run. Now we have the ball at, like inside the red zone, and it's time to do good things. It's time to hopefully take a touchdown lead. Slants open. That's Miko Hardman once again inside the 10-yard line. I must say this first drive has been pretty freaking easy. Like, we've only had one third down the whole first drive, so maybe this is a sign of things to come. If our defense can play well, this, and I'm speaking really soon, this could be a blowout. A, back of the end zone, wide open as you possibly can get. Isaac Nauta, touchdown as the Georgia Bulldogs take a touchdown lead, an early touchdown lead in a top 10 rivalry matchup, and our defense gets the ball right back. Now, this is where good things can happen. It won't let me audible. Why will it not let me audible to four verticals? Why can I not? Maybe because it's a five wide set. I don't know. I wanted to try to get a touchdown really quick. Give us a two touchdown lead, but just gotta stay patient, I guess. Uh oh. That was really good coverage. That was really good coverage. I know I had some other people I could have thrown that to, but that was actually really good coverage, and that could be bad. Yeah, uh, good night. So we could have easily got a two possession lead. Because I'm an idiot. Now it's a tie game. Oh, that's what I get for being dumb. This is what I wanted to do right here on the last drive, but we couldn't do it. B's open. B's open. This could be big. Just kidding. Just kidding. He didn't catch the ball. Nice play from the safety. So Georgia Tech's defense, especially their pass coverage, has came to play after the first drive. So I'm getting a little bit worried. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Now we're going to get sacked. We, Carl's dead. Carl's a dead man. That was a massive freaking hit. Because we, I mean, we've seen we've gotten injured before. As that is the end of the first quarter. Thank God Carl apparently is not injured. But this is a third down. And I'm scared. I do not. <laughs> so, um, it's not going to be the blowout that I wanted. But just got to stay patient, man. Got to stay patient. I see a big scene right here to scramble. Carl Weezer. You know, bob and weave, hopefully not fumble, hopefully not be hurt. Should have dove. Looks like his spine was broken in half, but he stands up. Carl's a man that can withstand broken spines. So first down and 10 at midfield. Let's just make sure we put up some points and regain the lead. Let's make sure we just regain the lead. Oh, my X was wide open and I'm an idiot. You know what? Let's just scramble again. B's open again too, but we're just going to make sure we get the for sure first down. Got to not scramble again because I'm pretty sure if we run three straight times, either one or two things will happen. We'll fumble or Carl will die. And we don't want Carl to die because that, mean that means the series will be over. And we don't want the series to be over, do we? Because we haven't even gotten to the NFL yet. But anyways, whew, stay patient. There's no picks. No picks, no chicks. RB wide open. Uh-oh. Okay, see, like, I get, like, they tricked me. Like, the safeties of Georgia Tech, they've been tricking me. They've been tricking me well, but I gotta learn from my mistakes and not ever throw a ball like that ever again, which could lead to our second interception of the game. We gotta make sure we have a big game too, man, because I do want I do want Carl to win the Heisman, and it's gonna take a big game, a big stat like a stat game to put him back up in the number one, because he was number one last episode. So that's why I probably need to like not run the football. Like if it if we can avoid it, let's just throw. 
and throw like 107 touchdowns in one game because that would be a lot. Okay, B. This is a pick, isn't it? This is a pick. <laughs> We're getting a little lucky. We're getting a little lucky with these throws. Um, I will say I just woke up, so maybe my decision making is not the greatest, and maybe I need to avoid like not recording as soon as I wake up. But we will persevere. RB on the post is open. Miko Hartman catches the football 15 yards into the Georgia Tech red zone. Miko's having a good game. He's having a good game thus far. Like I said, we will continue just to throw the football, try to get Carl Weezer as many touchdowns as he possibly can get. Oh, Lord. Um, you know what? I'm just going to scramble. I'm going to scramble with Carl because I almost pressed X. I almost pressed, pressed X, and I knew it was going to be a pick, so I decided just to do the smart thing and not throw a pick. Like, that's, that's like, you know, the logical thing to do in a situation like that. Second down and three. B, back of the end zone. Didn't drag his feet. Third down and three. I thought that was a touchdown. I thought we had it. But we have one more play to try to get three yards. Let's just make sure. I mean, we, a touch, touchdown would be nice. But let's just make sure we at least pick up the first down. And we're going to, uh-oh. We're going to scramble with Carl. Are we going to get it? No, nah, I'm running hurry up. I'm going to run hurry up. We're going to do it. I'm going to run hurry up and we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get it. We're going to get it. I'm not going to kick a field goal. Because, first of all, we've missed field goals in these situations plenty of times in the series. So, we probably miss it anyway. Uh-oh. Um... That was awful. That was absolutely awful for me. I probably should have changed the play. That would have been the smart thing. But thank God for our defense, man. Gives us the ball back at midfield. X has a step on the man. We need a good throw. We need a good throw. Dog. What? What sort of wizardry did Javon Wims just pull? What kind of catch was that? I mean, I'll take it, but Javon, that was a little wild. I like it, but that was a little strange. A little strange. But let's make sure this time, man, we, we just get a touchdown, please. Like, I, I'm just getting so... Throw the ball, Carl! I'm getting so, like, distressed. Did Carl got hurt. Carl got hurt. Uh-oh. We're back in the game, but that kind of took me for a loop. Carl got hurt, and it's a tie ball game. It took us out of the ball game. Thank God he's back, but he was out for like two quarters, and now it's a tie ball game. This, this is scary. This is not the type of game I was looking for. He fumbles. Bro, things are going bad. Things are going bad. We're down. They miss. Okay, this game is crazy. They just scored a touchdown. They missed the extra point. We we just cannot lose. Like we just cannot lose. Our offensive line, man, it's it's like not holding up. It's really been the difference in this game thus far. Like getting sacked a lot, getting pressured a lot. We just gotta make sure we win at this point. The Heisman, screw the Heisman at this point. We've gotta beat Georgia Tech. We've got to. We're getting like really no big plays. We normally get a lot of big plays throughout these series or throughout these games, but we really have not had like nobody really open down the field, and I think they're open and I throw picks or throw it in 15 man coverage. A's open, I think that's a pick. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my gosh, like this this game, this is mine. This is all on me. This is all on me. Our defense is playing fine. This game is all on me. All on me. Making dumb decisions. We still have a chance to win. But this has just been bad. B, okay, we have a step, man. We have a step. Please catch this one. This time, C, finally. That's what I've been looking for all game long. Javon Wims, 80-yard touchdown reception. It's been a pathetic game for me, admittedly. I know this has been trash game play for me. Holding the freaking controller. But as long as we can somehow still win, that's all that matters. And somehow our defense came up massive. Apparently they turned the ball over on fourth downs. They didn't even kick a field goal here. And I'm still trying to put up some points, man. Because it's still a one-point game. If we don't score, they could easily come back. Easily. A's was wide open, but I had to scramble out to the right. Y, down the field. Schaffer drops the ball. 
I mean, this has been, like, not the worst game from Carl, but from me. Like, Carl's really not had any, like, awful throws. It's just been, been my, like, my awful decision-making. But I still want to, I, I just, I want to win. That's the main thing right now. Screw the Heisman, I just want to win. And I scrambled a game when I probably shouldn't have. RB, Justin Schaffer drops another gosh dang pass. Third down and 10. I'm just getting flustered. I'm not running, I'm not throwing a screen pass. Like, that's just not going to happen. I'm not, I'm not, like, going to have the play be out of my hands. So here we go, third down and 10. This could be huge. This could be huge. Nobody, like, nobody's open, man. Nobody was open. Fourth down and 10. We have to punt. And our defense, like, this is all defense. Defense has let us down, specifically in that first game of the season. But this game, if it wasn't for our defense, dude, we'd be losing by a lot. By a lot of points. Let's just focus on short passes, consistently moving the ball down the field, and hopefully we can somehow put ourselves in a situation to score some points. Because we just need at least a field goal or something. Because I want this to be more than a one-point game. Because all it takes is work for one play for them. They could potentially be right back in the ball game. Just go short again to Justin. Let him run with the football. Because we're not running the ball with him. We'll at least get him the ball through the air. He has three catches. And pretty much it's probably the only three touches he has all game long. But three minutes to go. A one-point lead. We just hopefully just keep a lead. That's all I that's all I want to happen is just keep the freaking lead. Short passes. Isaac now to a first down. Keep the chains moving. Okay, so the play kept going on for a long time when it was on the ground. But, I mean, a first down, I guess, is a first down. Our coach wants us to run the football, but I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I don't want to run. At the same time, I'm trying to be smart, not make dumb decisions. But I, I still, like, I want to win, but at the same time, I want Carl to get some decent stats, you know, so he can... I have a decent chance to win the Heisman. So we'll stay smart. Just keep dumping the ball off to our check down, to our running back. Nine yards to play. Who knows? Probably we might have fumbled. Dog, why is their coach so big? What is there, isn't their coach still Paul Johnson? He's not that big. Why was that man so huge? Interesting. I don't like screen passes in this game. Because you can press the ball, press the button to throw the ball to the screen pass, and the, they get like... They can pick it off, like, so no, I'm just going to avoid that. We're going to scramble. We're going to throw the ball to X. He's going to catch it. He's going to run backwards. But then again, he's going to run up the field. DeAndre Walker, seven yards into the first down. Kirby Smart's a little big, too. Kirby, <laughs> Kirby's a big man in this game. He's kind of small in real life, but he's a big man. For some reason, in NCAA football, coaches are big. They're big people. Just once again, dump it off to Justin, who has iron hands. His hands are made of rocks. They don't even have fingers. They just freaking rocks. So that sucks. Probably about 15 yards from field goal range. So let's just make sure we at least get a field goal. No, we're going to get a touchdown. We're going to get a touchdown. And this should do it. DeAndre Walker, 34-yard touchdown reception. It is going to be an eight-point game. And Georgia Tech went down the field extremely quick. But they did not. They scored a touchdown. But they didn't convert the two-point conversion. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to win this ball game. They call their last timeout. But we're going to be able to chew the clock. And I, admittedly, I know you can save the comments. This is probably by far the worst game I've ever played in this series, decision-making-wise. But all that matters, boys, is somehow we found a way to get a win. And we just did the dang thing. A two-point win. I mean, it is a rivalry game. So in rivalry games, dudes, anything can happen. But somehow we still came out of here with a win. A top ten win, nonetheless. I mean, we did get a little lucky. This game was out at home. But we're going to get the win. So we're going to run the football with Justin. Pick up the first down. Dog, he might actually. I kind of I kind of want to do something. I kind of want to do something. Can I, like, pick a play? Can I pick another play? I can't. So just kidding. I was going to try to <laughs> run four verticals one more time and try to get one more long touchdown. But we'll just kneel the ball, count our blessings, as Georgia is going to get a 28-26 to 26 win over their probably their second biggest rival, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, which is, I mean, I think this is might be our highest ranked opponent we've beaten this season because they are ranked number seven. They were ranked like number one just a couple weeks ago. They did lose, dropped them number seven.
but it still is a massive win, one of the biggest wins in this series thus far, as we do win, and hopefully this will propel us a little bit higher up in the top 25 poll, which is massive. Carl Weezer's final game stats, 17 to 31, 316 yards, three touchdowns, 29 yards on the ground. I know we did have a couple turnovers and that might hurt them in the Heisman, but for the most part, I think looking at that, it's decent stats. We'll just have to see next week what is, like if he actually goes up in the Heisman or not. So advanced into week number 15, and as you guys see, we did jump up to number two in the rankings. Now, importantly to check the Heisman rankings, and he actually, we went down. He went down all the way to number three. So Carl Weezer, unless we have a huge, the freaking wide receiver from East Carolina had four receiving touchdowns. No wonder he's up there at number one. But unless we have a huge SEC championship game, Carl Weezer might not actually win the Heisman this year, which would be a travesty. But looking really quick, it looks like we actually jumped Alabama, which is interesting. And we will be taking on the Crimson Tide in next episode in the SEC Conference Championship game. So if you guys are excited for that, let me know by dropping a big thumbs up on today's episode. Let's see if we can continue the support and you guys can continue showing the support on the series. See if we can smash like 2,000 likes on today's episode. The more likes we get in this episode, guys, the quicker I will come out with the SEC Conference Championship episode. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. With that said, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.